the Nautilus. In scientific terms, its kingdom, Animalia, Phylum, Mollusca, Class, Cephalopod. Cephalopod. Cephalopod means head-footed because their foot modified into a head-like structure. The Nautilus is related to the octopus, cuttlefish, and squid. The Nautilus lives in tropical waters in western Pacific Ocean. They prefer the slopes of coral reefs which descend into deep waters. The Nautilus is considered to be a living fossil as it has undergone little change in more than 500 million years. It's even older than the dinosaurs. The body of the Nautilus may reach 10.6 inches in diameter. Brown zebra stripes are on the outside of the Nautilus's smooth white shell. The Nautilus has developed a shell that is divided into chambers. It is born with four chambers and it expands the number of chambers throughout a lifetime. Adult Nautilus usually have more than 30 chambers. The animal is located in the newest and largest chamber. It has 90 slim tentacles and a large eye. They have a relatively simple brain, not largely developed like that of the octopus, cuttlefish, and squid. And it is thought that they lacked intelligence. But recent studies have shown that the nervous system is quite complex and different from that of other animals. And recent experiments have shown that the Nautilus not only has memory, but changes reaction to the same event over time. Unlike many other cephalopods, they do not have good vision. Their eye structure is highly developed, but lacks a solid lens and no cornea. They have a simple pinhole eye exposed to the water. The pinhole arrangement means that precise focus is not possible, but the pinhole itself is capable of slow contraction and dilation and so is close to a pupil. Instead of vision, the animal is thought to use smell as a primary sense for looking for food and locating potential mates. To swim, it uses a siphon. It ejects huge amounts of water through the siphon in order to move. The position of the siphon determines which direction the Nautilus would travel, backward, forward, upward, or downward. They steer mostly by sensing objects with their tentacles or slightly bumping into things before changing course. The Nautilus adjusts its buoyancy, either removing liquid from its chambers or allowing water to slowly refill the chambers. The inner chambers are filled with gas and help the Nautilus to maintain neutral buoyancy. The Nautilus adds liquid to the chambers in order to dive. The Nautilus can survive for long periods in the water of very low oxygen content. The heartbeat slows down to a very low beat per minute during this time. The heartbeat gets faster again after 15 to 20 minutes of rest. The large blood volume and very high oxygen level of blood ensure that the animal gets plenty of oxygen during the resting period to fuel active periods. This allows the Nautilus to be in environments where the low oxygen content of the ocean might limit other fish from getting food. The Nautilus scavenge for hermit crabs, fish, and the exoskeletons of molting crustaceans. They locate food by smelling the ocean currents for traces of dead or dying prey. Ninety slim suckerless tentacles function mainly in smelling and manipulating food. Grooves and ridges on the tentacles are used to grip prey and deliver food to a crushing parrot beak. Nautilus will reproduce annually once they have reached sexual maturity about seven years old. Males have four tentacles modified into an organ called a spadix, which transfers sperm into the female's mantle during mating. This can last up to 24 hours. The female fertilizes the eggs and deposit them one at a time. As far as gender for the Nautilus, males are 75% and female 25%. So, good luck with the ladies. When confronted by predators like octopus, sharks, tigerfish, and turtles, Nautilus withdraws into its armor and seals the door with a tough, leathery hood. The Nautilus resides in cool, dark waters at depths from 900 to 2,000 feet during the day to escape predators. It ascends to shallower waters of 300 to 500 feet at night and then begins to feed. The human impact on the Nautilus is getting to a serious level. 
Unfortunately for Nautilus, their shells are attractive to humans and many are killed each year. The Nautilus's graceful shell has made it an attractive item for the commercial cell trade and Nautilus pompilius is the most commonly sold species. Since the demand of these beautiful shells is rising, fisheries in Southeast Asia and the Pacific Rim specialize in mass scale hunting of the Nautilus. The shells are prized by collectors around the world and they are heavily harvested. Indonesia has banned the collection and export since 1987, but many other countries still collect them and kill them. Traders from Fiji and the Philippines capture Nautilus using baited traps. Fishermen load their boats with 150 bamboo traps and stay out at sea for a week. They can catch from 400 to 800 Nautilus a week. The Nautilus of the Sulu Seas has almost been wiped out and these fishermen have moved to new areas in the South China Sea. The Nautilus species are also threatened by habitat degradation as their native reefs are polluted and destroyed by destructive fishing practices and development. Nautilus is not listed as endangered species due to the lack of data. The number of remaining animals in the wild is unknown. The Nautilus is not protected by any international trade laws or protected specifically under U.S. domestic laws.